time for another plant shop tour. Let's check out the bosant. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. And today I am in the Bosrand in Oegstgeest, one of my favorite garden centers. Let's see what plants they have on offer, as many of you have requested. This is the beginning of the plant section. Let's check it out over here. I'm not gonna show you everything in detail because we would be here for hours. Just some of the highlights today and they get new plants in every single day so it's worth coming to check whenever you're around i don't know if i filmed these already but these cebu blues are so holy i love it they're so beautiful big pot like this is 20 euros now so that's pretty cool there's not that many hoya today sometimes i have amazing offers but i see a queen and a princess some jungle cacti i'm totally blanking on the name but you know this one uh, something pee. Here's a few more Hoya. I think Hoya Wayeti and string of pearls. Oh, um, string of hearts prices. This is about four euros. These are five euros. We have some very nice begonia Omphioxus, which is a pretty tricky one. So I'm very impressed with how big they have grown these. I can only grow them inside my big terrarium for now. The price, I don't want to break anything. 17. And then you'll see some things that I'll show you in a different spot as well, but there's definitely Thai Constellation, Variegated Monstera. This is, I think, a Splendid on a pole. I'll try and see it in a better spot than oh, Alocasia Jacqueline. I love this plant so much. It is so stunning to me, but I cannot keep it alive. It just rots and dies for me. Look at these stems as well. The colors, a very cool plant. And there's a few more here that look similar, but not the same. I don't know. It's a different... It says Alocasia Jacqueline. This is, by the way, a very funky leaf. I love it. But, um... Oh, it's the back. I see. This is a normal leaf, but there's no... This broke off. It's definitely a difference in those two. So interesting. This is another Splendid, I think. See how nice. Let's see. Splendid. 30 euros. Some huge variegated Monstera, as in pretty tall. These are 50 euros and there's quite a lot of leaves on them. Look at this one. Wow, that is very mature. There's tertiary holes. I learned a word now. Um, this is a hundred. And then melano. I don't really enjoy growing melano anymore because of this. They get so stuck and damaged. It used to be my absolute favorite plant in the world, but they just are not very easy. Look at this poor baby, all stuck. So that's not you, it's the plant. 40 euros. Ooh, nice silver croniana or lacunosa. That is four, four euros. Wow. Okay, that is affordable. I might want to buy one. Mine died. I'm really trying to grow a platycerium, the staghorn fern, but I've only found one kind here in the Netherlands and it's this one, which I'm not a huge fan of. Lots of beautiful different ferns so cute caladiums i've heard it is not a great year for caladiums so i'm very curious if yours are growing well mine have completely rotted and disappeared this is definitely the more common plants section although this one looks kind of cool is it a pilea pilea this is interesting these are terrarium plants that I have growing on the back of my terrarium, Soleanum, Solanum, seven euros. I've never seen them for sale in a garden center before. The variegated string of hearts are seven euros. More Hoya. Seems they have spread out the plants differently. Oh, Hoya Curtisi, now seven euros. More Gravia, another terrarium plant. Beautiful. Also this beautiful Episcia, which is not labeled yet because I took it from a cart, but look at that. Very cool. The Alocasia Isle with some very funky ones. Of course, I love the dragon scale. It's one of my favorites, even though I'm not good at growing it for four euros. Should I get this dragon scale, this huge one? <laughs> it's also worth checking if you like variegation. There's often <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. There's often leaves with a little bit of like variegation dots. Alocasia poly. 
And then this one, my friend actually came and told me she bought this one. This is a, kind of a special one. It just says Alocasia 16. The leaves are very long and thin. Look at this new leaf. Apparently this is a cool one. I have not heard of it before, but it's flowering too. Very nice. And this silvery one. I wonder if that's labeled. Let's see. 20 alocasia. Hmm. This one is a good example of how long the leaves really are. Look at this. That is really long and narrow. Quite cool. The carnivorous plants aisle with many different types of very cute carnivorous plants but they never really have a lot of pings only this one and I like pings the most because I can keep them alive well those are some big leaves I wonder what this is look at this body for scale it says this is alocasia macoriza which is what people confuse the Thai giant for a lot here's another one look at this <laughs> very cool you can buy a pot full of these for 45 euros. Silver swords, Prince of Orange or something. This is Philodendron Mayoi, which actually looks beautiful this big. These are 30. Labeled Elegana. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not Mayoi. There are Billetie for 12 euros. Nice. Painted ladies. Gloriosums, and then I think, wait, this is the Gloriosum, 12 euros, two in a pot. This, I think, are the El Chocos, or something else. The Incensi. Oh, that's a Varicosum then, the common Varicosum that's sold here. So then maybe these ones are the El Chocos, because I'm pretty sure they have them. Nine, ten euros. I think these are, because look. They are now apparently common in garden centers. Check out those pink backs. There's some more smaller Melanochrysum over here as well. Brantianum, which is always stunning. And this looks like some white princess and some ring of fires too, hiding like it's nothing. Ring of fire 25. Just a lot like bunched in there under the table there's even some mame maybe philodendron a bunch of different syngonium including milk confetti let's check for prices for four euros if you're wondering why prices are so low that's what we do here in the netherlands i think it's because a lot of growers are very highly automated i've actually visited some growers as well i have videos about it i will link it in the description but because it's so automated it doesn't cost manual labor so it becomes much cheaper a big stefania birei look at this blob just growing up here look at these cute little leaves some jewel orchids. Let's check the second part of the plant section, the indoor plant section. <laughs> Always fun. The tickle plant. Some nice begonia. Look at this. Is this Melanobulata, I think? Because it has the hairs. Ferox, 10 euros. This one's also pretty. All oh, the nice colors every time I show you these pots just because the colors bring me so much joy they are the Elho Ocean Collection this is not sponsored but I do work with Elho sometimes such amazing pots I love them cacti and succulents with some volunteer little oxalis it looks like very cute they like to bring some weirdos in as well so like this such a weird plant adanium uh, desert rose plants so random but so fun it's nice to oh string of dolphins it's nice to have different different bits and bobs not always just same string of pearls aglionema all the colors and schismatoglotis and a big palm tree in the center there as well. These are just the flower plants, but I did notice in the back here, there's some spatophyllum, big ones for 20 
19. And then in between the, these are the common anthuriums. If you don't know, my country is famous for these anthurium, which of course I, we <laughs> don't really enjoy. But then in between there are crystallinum and clarinervium. So that is quite interesting. Normally the clarinervium might be here sometimes. These are 17 euros now, but now there's just also, I think they're crystallinum, just assuming here. Crystallinum, eight euros just in there with the common ones. I love that. I love that for us. Another favorite part is this table. This is the mini terrarium plants table and they always have such cool ones on there that it's always worth checking out. Oh, the sun is coming out again. It's a weird cloudy day. I think princesses, bananas, syngonium. And then at the bottom, let's see, there's some Calathea here or Zanamti and then a dragon, maybe dragon scale. This is very nice and shiny in the sunlight. Orbifolia and some caladiums. Look at that. Oh, look, there's another one. Very cute. And it actually looks amazing with pink syngonium and the pink princess next to it. Sometimes they have a lot more alocasia on here as well, but it changes all the time. So not today. Of course, I waited to show you the specials table till the end of the video, so I think it's time. Let's go check it out. There's some nice Monstera with a lot of variegation. I do know that the grower here <laughs> charges a lot more for these that he calls half moon. They are not half moon, of course, because that doesn't exist, but they are priced a lot higher because they have more white. So that's a thing. 100 when you can get a bigger one for about 50 or 40 even. Plus the white, of course, is more risky. This leaf is probably gonna brown and die because that's what happens, but I love it and I think it's worth the risk. At the bottom here, there's some nice Maranta light veins. These are 25. Some of them have more light veins than the others, but very pretty. Here's another splendid that you can see a little bit better. These are 30 and there's several plants. There's another one. Then they have huge crystallinums. Check this out. They are so beautiful and shimmery. If you don't know why they're called crystallinum, it's because, I don't know if I can show you, but it looks very crystally. And these are 36 euros for a pot full mature plants. Cause look, they're already making babies. We have a bunch of Thai constellations and just some new ones came in as well that are labeled 60 euros for pretty mature ones. In the back there, there's a nice Pinatum variegata with a lot of holes already. Up here, <laughs> can't even show you, it's a Monstera dubia, a really mature one. This of course is one of the Thai constellations that I would be drawn to if I didn't already have my own Thais. Such a beautiful one, so much white. And as you can see here, browning is just normal on white parts of leaves. It just happens. Luckily for me, it's not happening as much because I have a steady climate, steady conditions. That definitely helps, but keep that in mind if you love sectoral variegation like I do. Some very tall variegated monstera with a jungle of uh, aerial roots hanging down. Here's more of the white ones, the Thai constellations, nice Hoya with a lot of pink. This is a princess, crimson princess. I don't know what this is. Pinatum something? Um, Pinititi de Partita? Is it that one? It says fill it in around five euro. I think it's either a Monstera or a Raphidophora. Something, something. <laughs> Very professional. We have some Melano babies here that are 10 euros and some more variegated Monstera, smaller, but also more affordable because these are 40 euros for also nice variegation, not the heightened price because it's a half moon, half moon. Back here, some Shivriana. I just got one of these, 17 euros. There's a nice Hoya as well hiding in here. Look, oh wait, we wanna get this out because we love it. This is Hoya Mauna Loa or Hoya Compacta Variegata, 25. This is such a cute one. Oh, I used to grow it, but I struggled with it a lot. It was not happy in my care, but it's so cute. Then they have some medium, medium silver for price, 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 30. Very nice with a 
runner over there, so plenty to work with. Here you can see the Panatum a little bit better. Such a funky one. I'm so happy mine came back from full ghost mode. And Boss just told me, the worker who I talk to a lot, that he priced these down. So these are the Thai constellations that were uh, labeled a bit more. They used to be 80 and now they are 40% off, so they're 48. Because now they have these <laughs> for 60 and they are bigger because prices are dropping. So very nice. I also spotted some beautiful begonia on the cart still. These, I think, are Pavonina. They are labeled Pavolina 25, but the boss knows that. But he has to change the labels and it's a lot of work. And lastly, in here, in this nice, what do you call it, cloche, there is a Monstera Obliqua. And last time I checked, they were 60 euros. It's starting to make a runner, so hopefully someone will come and adopt it and it will start to grow leaves again. Look at how cute. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below and leave a nice comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.